everyone, welcome back to the Cloth and Paper YouTube channel. My name is Emma, and today we are going back to basics. Today's video is going to be all about planner systems and sizes. Uh, we're just gonna go through every style, every system, every size that we carry, uh, so you can see everything um, by themselves, but also in comparison to other sizes. Um, I think this will be really helpful if you're kind of in between sizes, not sure what you want to go with. You'll be able to see them together um, and see which one you think might work for you. If you don't have a cup of coffee or tea or soda or possibly an energy drink, this is going to be a long video. Fair warning. Let's get started. So we are going to start with the smallest planner size that we have. This is a pocket planner. This cover is actually a Filofax. Cloth and paper does not sell agenda covers in the pocket size. However, we do sell the inserts. This is one of the original sizes we carry. In this particular planner, we have our uh, blank side tab dividers in clear plastic, weekly capsule inserts. This is the ruler. All right, so this planner is very good for people who are looking for something very compact, very lightweight, something you can just throw in your purse every day. This is a really good size for that. Uh, a lot of people will also use this as their wallet um, so that your wallet and planner are in the same place. So I do want to show you the next three planners in comparison to each other because uh, if you're looking for a smaller planner, these are sort of three of the main sizes that you might be looking at. So. These are pocket, this one is A6, and the nude is the personal. All right, so this A6 cover is also not a cloth and paper cover. We do not sell uh, agenda covers in A6. Uh, we do sell the personal size. This particular cover is a uh, smooth caviar leather in nude, and this one has gold rings. Um, but I just want to show you these three in comparison to each other. Again, if you're looking for something small, something you're going to throw in your purse and go, um, or backpack, uh, or even pocket, I think that's why this is actually called pocket. Personal is also one of our original sizes. So for pocket and personal, we have all of our inserts, accessories, dividers, everything in these two sizes. A6 was sort of our second generation size. So um, it is not available in absolutely everything, but most of our uh, stock is also available in A6. All right, so let's look at A6 by itself for a minute. A6 is not quite as tall as the personal, but it is a bit wider. So these particular dividers are our CEO side tab in black plastic with gold foil. And we've got a 2020 overview in here. And then these are our 2020 monthly calendars. But this is the A6 size. I think for people who like a little bit more width in their planner, uh, this is, is a very good size for that. All right. Now, I do wanna say, before we say goodbye to the A6 size for right now, I do want to mention um, something that uh, might save some people some hassle and heartache in the future. So A6 and personal are obviously not the same size. However, there are many websites that sell planners that are advertised as A6 that are in fact a personal sized planner. The most common planner sizes in general are personal and um, standard A5 for six ring planners. So a lot of times you'll see planners that are offered in just two sizes, uh, standard A5 and A6. Almost 100% of the time, those A6 planners will actually be personal sized. Uh, so definitely when you're looking at buying a planner, if you are looking at anything that is that says it's personal or A6, I would definitely double check the measurements of the actual planner to see which one you're getting, the personal and the A6, um, because there are many customers who have ordered A6 because that's the size they thought the planner was, and it actually turned out to be personal measurements. Um, but yes, this the A6 size is an A6 paper size. It's an international paper size. Um, the personal is not an international paper size. It's just one of the most common planner sizes. And at this point, personal is fairly standardized. Um, personal is uh, a size that is made by Louis Vuitton, cloth and paper, obviously, Filofax, 
Uh, all the big ones will all have personal size planners and this is gonna be that size. All right, so let's look at the personal. All right, so as I said, this is the smooth uh, caviar with gold rings. I set this up on purpose because I did wanna show you guys something. So uh, this is the first cloth and paper agenda cover that I'm showing. All of our agendas, both in the personal and the standard A5, the two rings agendas we have, have one inch rings in them. So the inserts that are in here right now are the personal daily dated. So it's one page per day, obviously. This particular bundle of inserts is very thick to get 365 days in there. Uh, so you cannot fit a whole year of daily dated inserts in one inch rings. Um, you can't do it in the personal and you cannot do it in the standard A5. So what I have done is actually split the year in half and this is the first six months of 2020. So you can see kind of how that looks. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend putting much more than your calendar in uh, your planner if you do have daily dated for one inch rings. It does take up quite a bit of room. Um, if you are interested in keeping half the year, uh, I definitely recommend then using the top tabs uh, because it looks really nice to have just those six months. Uh, all of our top tab dividers do have the six months in two different rows. Um, the side tab dividers all just have, have one row of 12 tabs. So if you were just looking at keeping six months in your planner, your tabs would kind of just end halfway through. So that's why I recommend the top tabs uh, for the daily dated. Okay, so personal. So the next size we are moving on to is personal wide. And just like it sounds, uh, it is slightly wider. It is the same height, but it is slightly wider. So um, this is actually our personal agenda cover. Um, personal wide is a, a slightly newer size, so it is less available than the personal size, um, but a lot more shops, including us, are carrying it now. Um, but the one thing I do want to show you is personal wide inserts will fit in one of our personal planners. Uh, however, personal wide dividers will stick out of the side. So I wanted to show you guys kind of how that looks in one of our personal planners. If you have a personal wide planner, um, then obviously you will not be able to see the divider tabs. Um, but this is just to show you that our personal wide inserts will fit in a personal planner, um, but personal wide dividers will not fit in a personal planner. Not all um, personal planners will fit personal wide inserts. Ours just happen to do that. So you're welcome. All right, so now I am going to take out these dividers really quickly to show you just what it looks like with just the inserts. Obviously the personal wide are going to fit best in personal wide planners, uh, but if you really like the extra writing space, um, but you wanna get one of our planners, uh, because we actually do not manufacture uh, personal wide planners at the moment, you will be able to make this fit. All right, so that is personal wide inserts in a personal planner. It's not a perfect fit, um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, it does come kind of right up to the edge, uh, but it will work in a pinch if you want the personal wide inserts, but also a cloth and paper cover. All right, so moving on. I am going to show you one more size in one of our personal covers. The other size that fits in a personal cover is HP Mini. Just side note really quickly, I love the way this planner looks. I think with the quilting and the, oh, uh, it's so pretty. Okay, anyway. So this is the HP Mini. HP Mini does fit in a personal agenda if you take the rings out. So that is what I have done for this one. Uh, HP Mini also, you can find covers uh, for those in various places. We do not sell um, exclusive HP Mini covers, but like I said, you can hack our personal agendas for them. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other disc bound sizes that we offer. This is the A5 No Ring Agenda, and the A5 No Ring Agenda will fit A5 notebooks, um, including uh, the spiral binder, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, but also disc bound planners in the A5 or half letter size. Um, this is my agenda, and I have a half letter disc bound 
in um, an A5 no ring cover. Um, so I'm gonna close this back up because what I wanna show you guys is all three of the disc bound sizes we sell in comparison. Um, nobody at the office uses an HP Classic planner. So brace yourself for the color. <laughs> this is an HP Classic size. All right, so I'm just gonna show these together. So with an A5 cover, the half letter disc bound does kind of look similar in size to the HP Classic, but the inserts themselves are not the same size. Flip it over real quick. These are HP Mini. So one thing I have not been doing is giving you the actual measurements for these inserts. Uh, we are going to link our size guide in the description and that has every measurement for all of these sizes. So HP Mini, half letter for disc bound and then HP Classic. So those are our three disc bound sizes. And as you can see, they're kind of in ascending order. HP Mini is a seven disc system. Half letter disc bound is an eight disc system and HP Classic is a nine disc system. So in addition to these three insert sizes, we also have three sizes of discs available for you. So I'm going to go over real quickly the three most common ring sizes. So there is half inch, inch, and inch and a half. So for the HP Mini to fit in a personal planner, I would definitely recommend using the half inch discs. Um, in a pinch, you can use the one inch, uh, but it is going to be uh, pretty chunky and possibly a little bit hard to close. Um, the HP Mini will not fit in a personal planner with the inch and a half discs. Uh, you can use any of these three sizes for the half letter planner. I would generally recommend the inch or the inch and a half one. I have um, an inch and a half in inch and a half discs in our A5 no ring cover. Uh, if you are using perhaps a Louis Vuitton desk agenda, uh, which does fit a half letter disc bound planner, I would recommend using the one inch discs. Uh, for the HP Classic size uh, and the letter size, it's really just personal preference. All right, so. Let us move on. I am going to then show you the HP Mini quickly. So let's take a quick look at the uh, HP Mini inserts by themselves. This is the smallest size we consistently offer for HP sizes and for the disc bound planners. This size is a personal favorite of mine. I think it's a, a good amount of room to write. Um, but it's still small and compact enough to go in your purse or in another bag uh, to take with you. So I think it's a very good everyday carry. All right. So the next size we are going to go over is the big one. <laughs> this is uh, probably the most common size planner. It is offered in pretty much every company that makes a six ring planner makes one in the A5 size. On our website, it's typically going to be called standard A5 or A5 six ring. Uh, so this is a smooth nude agenda cover six ring planner. And the sets we have in here are the 2020 vertical weekly inserts um, with the side tab monthly dividers. So like the personal size, this is a one inch ring agenda. You can fit an entire year of vertical weeklies in this agenda, but again, it will not fit a full year of daily dated. I think this looks so pretty, the nude on nude. All right, so I did want to show you guys some other uh, standard A5 planners because again, it is. So what I'm going to do now is show you another size that is A5 in measurement, but it is a different style of punching uh, because it's a, for a completely different system. So we've already seen the A5 six ring system. This is our clear customizable spiral binder. This is a 20 ring system, um, which originated in Japan. Uh, but we sell this binder in a couple of different styles, um, a clear plastic and a gray plastic. These have uh, three quarter inch metal rings. So this is the paper that the binder will come with if you just order it. 
uh, but we do sell inserts in this size and it is called A5 Spiral Punch. Um, A5 Spiral Punch will have 20 hole punches for these 20 rings. It does not fit uh, a six ring system. The holes do not match up. So you cannot, uh, for instance, you cannot put standard A5 inserts into this clear customizable binder. You cannot put A5 Spiral Punch inserts into a uh, standard A5 six ring binder. All right, but um, the paper itself is the same size. So um, you can put inserts in the binder by itself. This binder, because it is A5, also fits in our no ring agenda, the same agenda that fits the half leather disc bound planner. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Essentially, you just slide the cover and back of the binder into these pockets and then it functions just like um, a ring binder. This is, uh, this is pretty versatile. If you wanted to switch back and forth between um, a binder system and a disc bound system, this agenda cover would be really nice to have. All right. So I'm going to put back the A5 agendas show you one more time real quick again these two no ring agendas are the same size they fit both the a5 and the half letter and this of course is the half letter disc bound system um, i prefer to uh, only keep it slid into one pocket um, but a lot of other people have a second plastic dashboard that they slide into the front pocket um, and it does make it move around less. All right. So uh, next up is one you have already seen. This is the HP Classic size. HP Classic along with the HP Mini and the Personal Wide size are recently introduced sizes. So we do not have as many inserts and accessories and dividers available in those sizes. Um, but we do offer all of our sizes for all of the 2020 dated inserts. So if you're looking to put together a 2020 planner, we offer everything. Okay. So the last size I'm going to show you is the letter size. Now, um, letter is a somewhat unique size in that we can have the letter size for multiple different kinds of binders. Up until this point, um, each size that you order is pretty specific with punching. Um, HP Mini comes uh, disc bound, Personal Wide comes hole punch for a six ring binder, um, Standard A5 uh, is always six ring, um, Spiral Punch obviously is 20, uh, half letter is gonna be disc bound. Um, it is sometimes possible to do that in six hole punch. Uh, if you have any questions about getting any of these sizes, uh, in a hole punching different than what's on the website, please email customer service at assist at clothandpaper.com and we can tell you what is available in every size and punching. Um, but for letter, this, this size comes in three available forms. So you can get it unpunched if you want to punch it for um, whatever system you have, but we do also offer disc bound punching for our letter inserts. This is an 11 disc system. Um, for most disc bound systems, such as um, this is a tall uh, arc and circa by Levenger are also very popular. This is the letter size planner in all three of those. Um, for those three systems, uh, the tall arc and Levenger, again, the circa, the half letter size planner is a junior size planner. For disc bound systems, for most systems, this is the junior size and this is the letter size. So if you do order letter inserts from us, we do actually ask that you put in the notes what kind of punching you want. So again, you can get it unpunched, you can get it punched for a disc bound system, which is 11 discs, or you can get it punched for a, a three hole binder, such as these are. I love the way this dashboard looks in letter. I think it's so beautiful. And of course, we have our couple of other inserts. Now again, because letter is a size we offered recently, it is not available across all of our inserts. Um, if you have any questions on what's available, uh, our website does have everything in the drop-down menus for each 
item. It'll tell you every size that's available. If you have any further questions, again, you can just email customer service. So one thing I do want to do real quick is show you the difference between sort of the most popular planner sizes. So again, we're just going to kind of line them up. This is pocket and then personal and then A5. And A5 kind of encapsulates the half letter size as well because they do fit in the same size cover. But these are the sort of the three most popular sizes, small to large pocket personal and A5. About how big they are in comparison to each other. There you are. Many people actually use multiple planner sizes. Um, many people use uh, A5 for a stay at home planner and then personal or pocket for their on the go planner. They're very compatible. So the last thing I want to do is show you all of the sizes sort of layered on top of each other so you can see how big they are in comparison to the other sizes. So we are going to start with the letter size. This is uh, the three hole punch on the letter size as compared to HP Classic, half letter disc bound. This is a five six ring. So you can see it is a little bit shorter than the half letter disc bound, but a little bit wider. And then we have the A5 spiral punch, which is of course the same size as the standard A5, but with the different hole punching. This is a B6 dashboard. So this size B6 is the only size um, we do not actually have a planner for. Um, so we do offer some of our inserts in B6. If you do have a B6 planner, this is going to come um, as a six ring. Okay, this is the HP Mini size. The HP Mini is the same height as a B6 planner, but it is a bit slimmer. You can see sort of the overhang of the B6 underneath. Then we're gonna do personal wide, which is a bit shorter than the HP Mini and the B6 personal size. This is exactly an inch um, slimmer than the personal wide size, but they are the same height. Then A6, which is slightly wider than personal, but um, considerably shorter. And then finally the pocket size which is quite a bit smaller than the A6. So there you have all the sizes laid on top of each other. So you can get a general idea of how big they are compared to each other. All right. So that is it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content. Please let us know in the comments below what content you would like to see. If you have any other questions about systems or sizes, and we would be happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye. Look alive. <laughs> so I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> with, 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 closer. Okay. Okay. I just don't know if this little guy's gonna stand up by himself. For what? Uh, HP Mini. Huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll go with the bloopers. Yay! Yay! That's a wrap.